EA7 Emporio Armani Milan big man Samardo Samuels was born in Trelawney, Jamaica, the same town as Usain Bolt, the fastest man on the planet. I live 20 minutes away from me. You know, we grew up almost in the same neighborhood. You know, here's a guy. I was the best player in the country in basketball. Everybody like, oh, Samuels. And then down the road, there's a guy who's like, he's, I mean, he's like a bullet. He's like, you know, he's so fast, you know. Samardo arrived in Europe last April and caught the eye for his powerful inside strength. He also has another characteristic that allows him to be particularly effective in his position. I got really big hands, and so that helps for me. You know, I can catch the ball and make a good move every time I get it. I got to be aggressive. I like to play around the basket, you know, around the paint. Almost a year after his arrival, he has now become a perfect inside player, something which he particularly likes and which has definitely put an end to an old misunderstanding. Every time I come to a team, it's like, you're the five man. No, wait, I mean, well, you can be the four and the five. Playing center is the advantage for me because I, I feel like I'm, you know, more quicker than some of the bigs and I can do a little bit more, you know, at the center position. There is one move where he has improved greatly over the last few months. Catch it in on the right block, you know, um, being able to catch it as low as possible, close to the basket where I can do different things. And now in Milan, it's like pick and roll, pick and roll. And I started like it. They changed my game a lot. I want to be a better defensive player. I want to be, you know, involved in every play. They make me be more energetic and be a complete basketball player. To play it, you need a perfect partner, and Samardo has found that person. Me and Curtis have, you know, put that bond together. You know, Daniel is a great player. You know, he can play also play the pick and roll. But when we practice every day, I shoot with Curtis. That's my shooting partner. He knows where to get me the ball, and he knows where I can get it to score and be effective. Samardo never attempts long-distance shots. It's not his job. But in Victoria a few days ago, the right moment presented itself to break that habit. It was kind of like a joke me and Curtis had, because, you know, like every time I talk about it in practice, because I would work on this shot every day, and he's like, you get in the game and you don't shoot no three-pointers. It was kind of like the play was designed. It was the perfect opportunity to shoot a three-pointer. You know, we, was, we had a big lead. Uh, Everything was going correctly at that point, and I knew he was going to pass it, and I was just, like, ready to let it fly, like, you know? So it came off perfectly, released my feet, and everything was set properly, and I just let it fly, and surprisingly, it went in, and I was like, you know, so everybody calling me the shooter now. Olympia Milan is universally known as the team with the red shoes. Perhaps Amardo wants to remind everyone of this with his hair, or maybe not. One of my friends talked me into getting like, he should get a crazy hair, and I was like, okay. Because they always say I'm a simple guy, always quiet. You need to do something out of character, and I was like, okay, like, I would change my hair color. And one of his idols also wears a red shirt. I'm a big AC Milan fan. When I see Balotelli when I go out and I go crazy, like, oh my God, it's Balotelli. And all my, play, all, all my teammates are just like, I mean, you know, I mean, what's the big deal? You know, I mean, he's a big deal. Like, he's a big soccer superstar. In Jamaica, everybody on my friends like, did you see Balotelli? You know, I'm like, yeah, I saw him, you know what I mean? And they wouldn't understand because, you know, we grew up on soccer. Samuels is having a great season, especially after the injury that kept him out of the very end of the regular season. This is probably down to the fact that Milan is less cold than where he was previously. I'm a big fan of Milan. It kind of reminds me of New York City a little bit. I'm still looking for the lake and the you know, place I can go fishing. Last year I was in Cleveland where it's like super cold. And it makes me appreciate being in Milan now because there's no snow on the ground. I can ride my bike in this weather in Cleveland. I would be like, ah. Uh.